Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a subscriber slash Instagram follower requested video for how I do my marble nails with dip powder. So if you watched my first impressions video on Panda Dips, then you know I absolutely fell in love with the dip powders, the company, just everything about them. So I went ahead and I ordered some other colors. Um, so this one right here, this deep gorgeous purple is called Sweater Weather. And I am just going to loosen up the powder just a little bit. Like I said in the other video, these are oversized jars so you don't have to ever worry about getting any overflow when you dip your finger into them. Which is the first thing that honestly impressed me about them. So I'm going to go ahead and do these on my three fingers that I'm not going to marble. So these will just be my base for my other three nails. So I'm going to fast forward through this because you guys all know how my dip powder application goes by now. And I will be back in a bit to move on to the marble nail effect. All right, I will let you guys watch and I will be back in a sec.
So now I'm just going to use this color by Rebel Nail called Luna. It is this really pretty light purple shade. And I'm just going to do one normal dip in this the way I usually would with my basic dip powder application. All right, so here's my one dip on each finger of Luna, and I'm just going to use my little dip tray here, Rebels Barbara, which is black, and then I'm just going to pour some of that light purple Luna color into my tray as my base. And I will just shake it to kind of level it out and get it nice and even. And you don't need to do a whole, whole lot. And you can also use a cupcake liner if you don't have the tray. I did actually just get the tray from a dip kit from Walgreens. So I like to just take a little syringe, which you can get at the pharmacy. I get them because my husband does dialysis here at home. He's waiting on a kidney transplant. So we have a ton of syringes and stuff so I just use one of those or you can use a little spoon you just want to dump little dots of the black or whatever color you want to use just randomly in there I love black but this barber color she hates me she spits everywhere all the time and then I just take a little toothpick or orange wood stick and just kind of swirl it around I know some people will swirl and then dip right into that. I like to swirl and then shake my tray a bit because I feel like it gives you more of a marble effect after you've kind of shaken it a little bit. So when you have your marble design in the tray the way you like, you can just go ahead and apply your base to your nail. So I'm just going to apply a thin layer of my base from cuticle to free edge And then I will flip my finger upside down and lay it in the powder wherever the design is that I want it. I will just lay on there. I will kind of turn my finger back and forth a little bit just so it coats those sidewall areas. And there you go. Just let that sit for a couple seconds before you go and dust that off. So then I will just add a little bit more black, just wherever I feel it needs a little bit more. And then of course take my orange wood stick and just twirl it around and then give my tray a little bit of a shimmy shake. Now when I'm doing marble nails, I am kind of weird and I'll take the two colors that I want to use and I'll kind of mix them together in an empty container and see what they look like mixed together. That way, when I'm completely done doing my marble nails, I can just dump it in a container and use that as a solid color later. That way I'm not wasting any dip powder. I know a lot of people who do marble nails and then just throw away all that powder. I don't like to waste anything. So I try to mix colors that look good when they're completely mixed together. So again, I'm just adding a thin layer of base to my nail, always wiping off my brush on a paper towel in between. Then I will flip my finger upside down and lay it in 
the design that I want and kind of just twist my finger back and forth. Shake off as much excess as you can. And there you go. I love how that one turned out. So if you see any empty little spots, you can just place it right back in until you have it coated the way that you would like. Now, if you don't want to do the base layer of this, you could do two coats of the marbling. I like the way it looks with just the one. So now I'm just going to go in and brush off all the excess powder off of my nails. Alright, so of course, as always, I'm going to do a layer of clear over top of all of my nails. Now I do think it's really super important whenever you're doing any kind of design with the dip powder, like the marble or color blocking, or if you are just doing glitters, you want to make sure to cap in clear. If you're not gonna cap your basic solid colors in clear, cap these in clear. Um, your glitters, if you don't cap them in clear, you're going to file into them, cut those glitters in half, and you're not going to get their true colors. Unless you're doing a silver glitter, then it'll look the same. Um, but you want to get the true color of those glitters with doing the marbling or the color blocking. You don't want to go file crazy and end up removing what you just spent so much time on doing. So that is, of course, why it's so important to cap and clear. So I will let you guys continue to watch me finish up my dip application and I will be back in a bit. Alright, so I've let my activator sit for about two minutes and I did my shaping and e-filing off camera. I went ahead and applied some cuticle crystals onto a couple of my fingers. And now I'm just going to go in with my Model 1's gel top coat. So I'm just going to let you guys watch me top coat these and wait till you guys see them. They turned out so pretty. These are probably my favorite set of marble nails that I've done so far. All right, so I'm going to let you guys watch me finish top coating and I will be back in a little bit.
All right, so here is the finished look. Let me know what you guys think of these marble nails, if you've done them before, if you're going to give them a try. Um, and let me know if there's anything else you want to see me do. I will have everything I use linked in the description below. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.